Registering your intellectual property in Singapore. Naming your company is as tough as naming your kid, and the last thing you need is to be slapped with an IP infringement letter from a competitor. Rebranding costs money and time, and it's not worth it. This is what we learned. 1. Do a quick Google search. Do a quick Google search to see if there is anyone that has the name that you want. Unlike your kid, two similar named kids aren't allowed to exist. So if there's someone out there with a similar name, it may be good to find a different name. Remember, buying the domain name is not conclusive that there isn't a similarly named person out there. 2. Pre-filing search. Note that a Google search is not authoritative and that you'll need to run a search via Intellectual Property Office of Singapore IPOS, to see if your word mark or trademark has been registered in Singapore. 3. Protect your name and logo. At the minimum, we think it will be a good idea to protect your name and logo. Ideally, using a law firm, you'll need to provide the following information to your lawyers. 1. The name or logo that you want to protect. 2. The type of business activity that you engage in. 3. The countries that you intend to do business in. Based on the information that you give, your IP lawyer will recommend the class of your IP registration. There are 45 classes of goods and services in Singapore, and the more classes that you register yourself in, the more expensive it is. For the Kiasu Singaporeans, note also that if you apply for more classes than you need, someone can apply to revoke your mark in a specific class if you've not used it for a long period of time. Finally, register your mark under the right entity. You can, of course, file for an application to transfer your IP to another entity down the road, but this also means extra costs. All in, we estimate that registering IP should set you back by a good $5,000 to $25,000, depending on your business. So remember to budget for this. At FoundersDoc, we will be happy to connect you with startup-friendly IP lawyers. So feel free to send your questions our way.